Hello everyone. Guess what? It's Easter Sunday. Now, if you're like most of us, you're at home because you're being responsible and you're protecting yourself and you're protecting others by staying at home. But since it's Easter Sunday and we're stuck at home, that doesn't mean we can't have church. So I really wanted to hear a beautiful, inspiring song. And I wanted to um, share that with you guys. So I invited my cousin, Cynthia Liggins Thomas, to come and sing a song for us. Now, Cynthia is the most incredible vocalist that I've ever heard. And I'm not just saying that because she's my cousin. She's, she's really phenomenal. She's a recording artist. She was the lead singer in the group Bless. She sang with the symphony orchestra. And I could go on and on, but I want to introduce you to this beautiful lady and um, let her bless you with her music. So say hi to Cynthia. Hello. <laughs> So, Cynthia, as I mentioned, your music has always touched me and just uplifted my spirit, and we need that right now. So, I'm going to let you perform. Beautiful. Of course. That's of course. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. so beautiful thank you so much Cynthia I um when I listen to your music I know there's a God and that he lives inside of us because how can anything so beautiful come from anywhere else so I, I really appreciate you doing that for us now before we go I want to I have something for you I know you asked me to um, touch up a photo for you so that you could blow it up and put it on your wall, the photo of you and Mr. Marcellus. 
Um, I, I did do that photo for you, but I also have something else for you. <gasps> so if you could see this, I have a little gift. Oh my God. I don't know so if you could see this. That is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I'm gonna send yeah, you a scan of it. I know you probably can't see it well here, but um You uh, never amaze me. <laughs> so just a background on this. Uh, this is a picture of Cynthia and Mr. Ellis Marcellus. Ellis Marcellus is a teacher um, that taught music at the school we both went to. We went to high school at a little magical school called NOCA, which is the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. And it was a school like fame. So there was music, art, theater, writing, and it was filled with many creative, beautiful, young kids. And Mr. Marcellus was like the patriarch of the school. He taught so many talented musicians, including Cynthia. He also taught Harry Connick Jr. He went to school with us there. Um, <clears throat> all of Marcellus's, we went to school with Delphio, but um, Alice Marcellus is the father of Wynton, Branford, Delphio, Jason. Um, he also taught just about every great musician that came out of New Orleans. Uh, Terrence Blanchard went to school with us and um, just so many artists. So he was a very important figure in New Orleans and, and very dear to so many, so many of us. If you if you want, I mean, you could tell um, people more about Mr. Marcellus and your relationship with with him. Um, well, yeah, well, he from um, high school from ninth grade uh, at the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. Um, he was my sight singing teacher. Uh, I tell you, I. Um, after his passing, I uh, told him, told face my Facebook friends and family about why I know I'm more of a competent musician um, because of him um, with the rhythm and, and uh, sight singing and uh, just the precision. And I've been, I literally have been called um, a truly skilled singer, skilled musician, and it's because of him. And I, you know, he's, he's one of the reasons I've had many people pour into me, but Mr. Marcellus was that rhythm guy. And, um, it was just awesome studying with him. And then later on, um, as, as time went on and I, um, got busy in the industry and in music, um, you know, we all go, I get to a point where we need entertainment attorneys. And as we sign contracts and things like that, which I did, you know, with the label for gospel music, um, you know, when I was talking to Mr. Marcellus more about some of the things that was going on with that, um, he did express to me that, you know, NOCA taught us many things. Uh, of course, we just honed in and mastered our skills, but we did not really learn the business side, um, the music industry. So he... Um, you know, he gave me so many pointers. And then later on, we started performing together. He invited me to um, do a, an annual Christmas concert with him at the St. Louis Cathedral, which is downtown in the French Quarter in New Orleans, a beautiful, beautiful historical cathedral. And it was me, Jason Marcellus, Bill Huntington. Um, Jason, of course, is the percussionist and drummer and um, awesome musician, and Bill Huntington, the bass and so we did that until Hurricane Katrina happened, um, which of course many things changed after that. Um, but he asked me to go into the recording studio to put down some of the songs that I would perform with them live. So we did work together in the studio and um, it was just an honor to be able to record with him. And that of course CD is available. 
Um, but I looked at Mr. Marcellus as time went on, as he got older. He also performed on an album that I produced. He and some other local musicians, he performed a couple of jazz pieces. But um, as time went on, I did look at him as um, a friend. You know, he, was, he became uh, a friend, not just a teacher. That's the way I looked at him. I could call him for anything. Um, wrote beautiful... Um, when I wanted to uh, teach, you know, in, in the system and needed letter of recommendations and work with other folks for things, he wrote just, you know, beautiful letter for me and just whatever I needed. Mr. Marcellus is a great guy and he truly will be missed. So, um, you know, that's how it was for, and, you know, and then of course I, I did go on and, and worked with Delphio a lot, his son, the trombone player and we've recorded together on, on several occasions. I've traveled with him um, to do uh, some gigs and stuff. So um, the, the Marcellus family even sang at Delphio's wedding. Uh, so they're, they're, they're um, just a staple in our community. And I am very um, blessed to have been able to have those experiences with such a, an icon. Yes, he is a legend. and. Yes, will really, really miss him and yeah. so many other students. Um, I I didn't study with Ellis Marcellus. Um, of course, I, I saw him around the school, but after I graduated from high school, um, I saw him a lot at my university. I studied mm -hmm. with John Scott, who was actually a, a very close friend of Ellis, I think they were best friends because he was at the art department with him a lot. And so yeah. I got to see him swagger in. He was just so cool. Cool, <laughs> um, very, always you know, cool. And he would yeah. watch Scott <laughs> um, do his artwork. And one of the reasons I did this, this drawing, this is a drawing with watercolor, um, yeah. but with Mr. Scott, I studied, um, um, illustration and fine art, and um, he he had a big influence on on my work, and I I still see hear him saying, "Hold to the part." He he <laughs> always say, "See the whole picture first, and then go into the details, go to the yeah. parts." So um, so whenever I'm working, that's what I hear, and and, and I remember seeing uh, Mr. Marcellus. The last time I saw him was when he um, played a song at, at Mr. Scott's funeral. Yeah. So um, anyway, I am so thrilled that you were able to come and prove for us. I know it did a lot for, for me and my viewers. So um, it's just something, you know, we really need right now. And, I, and, and your voice is just so beautiful and so inspiring. So well, thank, thank you, Tony. It was my pleasure to be on your awesome show. <laughs> Look, I think as cousins, I'm one of Tony's, well, I can say one number one fan, but I'm pretty sure many of us, Tony is my first cousin. And so, you know, we, we really support each other and I am just enamored with this beautiful woman. She is awesome. So thank you, Tony. <laughs> Thank you. So, Cynthia, I will see you soon. Yes. Um, I'm going to come, like I said, and deliver this, this piece. Uh, hopefully, we won't be apart for too long. Yes, hopefully. Yes, we will be praying. We're praying. So, you stay safe, girl. You too. Yeah, oh, all right. I love you. Lifted.